maybe. Ready or not, here we come. David Clark is furiously trying to get his figure onto his stand, but we're going to start. <laughs> we'll catch up. We'll try to, we'll try to, oh, you look, you got it on there. Wow. Uh, hey, welcome everybody to the uh, weekly Bluefin Hangout, uh, where we just uh, sit, we talk toys and stuff. We have fun. Uh, if you're in the comments section, you know, we, we love to be interactive with you. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything you want to rap about, just put in the con- in the in the comments. They still say rap, right? That's what the kids are saying. No, no one says rap. <laughs> I think so. It's like all, all I hear out of my kid's room when he's playing Fortnite is like, "Oh man, that's Capio," and I'm like, "Who are you? What are you saying?" <laughs> but anyways, this is about Fortnite. This is about Bluefin, and uh, you know, got our regular Rogues Gallery. David, we got Justin, we got AJ. Justin, how are you doing today? I am fabulous, David. Thank you for asking. Awesome, AJ. How are you today? I'm also doing fine. Thank you. Nice and. Joining us again is Mr. David Clark, uh, brand manager for uh, Sentinel, which is uh, well, the products we're going to talk about today. So, David, right. how the heck are you doing today? I'm, I'm doing fantastic. I'm ready to talk about some Iron Mans. So nice. Iron Mans. <laughs> Iron Mans. Yeah. Iron, Iron, Mans. Mans. Iron Men. <laughs> yeah. Lots of them. Lots of men. Lots of Iron Men. <laughs> well, why don't you show off what you were posing? Uh, I know, Justin, you have it too. So why don't you two show us off uh, what you guys what you guys are working with here? Sure. Uh, My imaginary one. <laughs> <laughs> The, the new fighting armor, uh, Iron Man. Uh, it's a it's a, a new line from Sentinel. It's a like you know diecast figures that come with the stand. It's pretty awesome. Uh, and like the concept for the line is that what if Iron Man had a suit for everybody? <laughs> you know, <laughs> he he just had an answer ready to go for every single person. You know, in, on, the big on what if? <laughs> you know, so the first one obviously is, is is the Iron Man, which is it's really good. Like it feels nice and heavy. Um, the posability is fantastic. You know, our, our friend Darius D. Amazing. He, he did a review of it. Um, the figure looks really good. Like I'm actually addicted to like diecast now because of. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have it safe, man. I used to be able to just buy plastic, but now I, I can't. I need that metal stuff. A um, little bit of that diecast on there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and then I love what they've been doing with, uh, with the rest of the line. You know, we have the Iron Spider fighting armor coming. Uh, you know, about next month. Next month, that should be really, really cool. Captain America just finished on pre-order, and then of course, as you guys know, uh, Wolverine just started. Um, it's a, it's a pre-order period too. So I'm really excited. Uh, we have Deadpool coming in the far future. So far, the grayscale photos have been released online. Pretty excited about that. And there's a wave two coming after. So, wow. Um, I can't tell you about that, but there's more characters that you're you're gonna want. <laughs> right, you can guess all day long, but they can't be revealed. Sadly, is it Marvel? <laughs> <laughs> you no, 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 AJ. It's King of the Hill in fighting armor. That's oh man, I would, I, would, I would buy that. Yeah, what what if what if Hank Hill had an Iron Man suit <laughs> powered by propane? How propane by propane. <laughs> there's, there's the look at the uh, Iron Spider, yeah, but yeah, um. I, one of the cool things about it is, uh, you know, we're talking about this prior to the show that I'm a sucker for any box that has a flap. And so I took this out last night and I was playing with it. But for the sake of this stream, I decided to shove it back in the box uh, <laughs> just because I wanted to show off the, you know, the box art's really cool. It's got him in, in multiple poses looking like a total badass that he is. Uh, right. It's hard to see on the camera, I suppose. But uh, for me, the big selling point is the flap and always. Yeah. Play. Yeah, that flap is like yeah. fantastic. Like I like open window style, yeah. but I also don't want it the first thing I want to see. <laughs> right. No, I, I also cool. love the fact that he can do the, the superhero landing pose. Like, like he can actually do the, the pose. I love that. Right. No, that's great. And then you did mention it does come with the stand. Is that correct? It does come with the stand, the, the X board, which is compatible with you know basically you know most sentinel uh figures. Um for my flame toys fans, it's also compatible with the flame toys model kits. So, so yay. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Tribe. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hey, just you know, just, just put, throwing it out there. If you want to have Optimus Prime fight uh, Iron Man, it, it, it can happen. <laughs> and Optimus yeah. Prime will be the same size as Iron Man. It's a, little, <laughs> a little, little bit taller than. <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm I'm super, like the the cat. I'm looking forward to the cat because I'm putting that mm. show on everybody. Yeah, <laughs> on everybody. Okay, that's a showstopper, man. That is that to me. That's that's what got me attracted to the line the most. When I saw that, I was like, oh what. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. And as soon as it was available to go on social media, I, I immediately started just like texting all my friends, like, oh my god, look at this crazy Captain America. This is the coolest thing ever. Uh, I can't wait to have him in Wolverine fighting. I think that's gonna be great. Mm, sure. Uh, that's gonna be super dope. Um, but that that shield though, like I, I I'm tempted to buy more than one just so that everyone can have the shield. <laughs> so like that pose that he has right now on screen, like I know like the first time I played with that sample, like I instantly went for the hero pose. I'm like, oh man, this was a lot easier than I thought. 
this is a pretty good figure for yeah. for being able to pose that because sometimes the the difficulty is knowing that the hand can touch the ground at the same time. But mm -hmm. there was no issue for me posing but, it. So yeah, like they're they're well balanced. I uh, you know well, perfectly balanced. You know, like all things. <laughs> um, Thanos, huh? Even even toes, like, like the toes actually bend, which I I I I, I love that little extra articulation there. You know. Right. Well, don't, they don't have that, or if they do have it, they kind of they kind of trash at it. So uh, <laughs> I appreciate it, you know. Nice. Uh, and you can and you can pick these figures. Well, you can pre-order these figures at bluefinbrands.com right now. Uh, I, think we have, I think we have Captain America and Iron Man on there right now. Extremely limited quantities, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, hopefully in the near future we'll have that bad boy there, uh, Mr. Wolverine yeah. himself. Yeah, what what Wolverine is next up? I was very happy with how that turned out. It it, it looks really good, really good. Like. Yeah. It, Super good. I'm a, sucker for yellow. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for, for yellow uh, yellow suit Wolverine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's a good-looking yellow, too, especially with the blue. Right. Yeah. What, what I can't wait to do is to see see all, like, the meme shots of, of him hanging out with Spider-Man and Deadpool. Because Deadpool <laughs> loves both of them, and both of them hate him. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, here, here. Here. I, I also like, if you look on his inner thigh there, it shows, like, some sort of weird, meshy silver chromey thing going on. I think that was just a nice little effect. Yeah. With, uh, it's got so much heat in that area, it's got a vent. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's cool. With that A right there on the, I mean, I'm, we'll call it A, like an Avenger A right there on the thigh. It's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> right next to the X. <laughs> yeah. Well, I do like that they put that belt part for it. So. <laughs> right. No, totally. And then even on, on his other thigh there, too, like you can see it has the same design right. with the blue. Mm -hmm. No, it looks fantastic. No, it does look good. But like one of the things I actually really liked about these figures compared to some other ones is uh, I've always had a problem taking hands off figures to swap because because the connection's so small. I, I'm always afraid like if I pull too hard, I don't want to snap it, you know. If, but if I don't pull hard enough, I'm never changing hands. The hands on these things it, it, it comes off easy, but it's like when you put it on, it's secure. And like for me, that was a big deal because I I have broken a few other figures from other companies that I shall not name. Uh, by changing hands. So, <laughs> Justin and I were in. Yeah, Justin and I were in this very room yesterday and complaining about some hands. <laughs> so, so it's great that the hands on this one are amazing. There was a. Yeah. There, was a, there, was a there was a bit of a struggle bus. Yeah. Uh, Mr. <laughs> Vader Fitz is asking, ever. "What extra hand, like is there extra hands in a weapon?" So there you go, uh, Mr. Vader Fist. You got your answer. We got extra hands on it. Uh, are there any other accessories that need to be noted for these? So you have, I'm going to have to, I'm gonna have to angle it so it doesn't, doesn't fall out. <laughs> so you do get like four, you get four extra hands in the box. Like, the, you know, on, on the side, you get extra hands right there. Uh, and then you get, um, see, I put away to keep it safe. And now I think I, I may have <laughs> dropped it. You get like a little, uh, a little round plug. To go on his back where the hole is for the uh, for the stand. Like, mm -hmm. Let me show you. So, like on the back of the figure, you know, there's the the hole for the stand. You get a you, you get a plug that you can like kind of like fill that up with. So, in case you want to have him like you know turning his back or not on the stand or something. But for me, Iron Man needs to always be flying. So <laughs> he, he stays yeah. here. <laughs> uh, just and to demonstrate know, how easy yeah. the hands are, um, I'll just pop this one off. And then shove this other guy on, and it's there, and it, it snaps right. in place, and it's easy peasy. Two seconds. Cool. Yeah. No I, yelling at it, going like, oh, stupid. <laughs> or making the dumb face. I have I have a hand face when I'm trying to put hands back on, and I'm, it's not pretty. <laughs> I'm just like, what the heck? It doesn't even work. It, it, it's crazy, man. Like before I got in the figures, like I never like I never would have thought that that would be a big thing until I broke my first $80 figure. And I was like, oh, <laughs> it is important. <laughs> yeah. Very. Now, now when, when is Captain America coming? So Captain America uh, should be, I believe, uh, 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 May, June, I believe. Uh, uh, as long as, you know, the world doesn't continue to end uh, <laughs> between, between <laughs> then. <laughs> um, and then uh, uh, Wolverine should be hitting us uh, around August. Uh, nice. So... Uh, that's going to be really great, and I I can't tell you what's in wave two, but if it works out, I'm it's it's going to be hype. It's going to be hype. So yeah, there. Oh yeah, there we go. Iron Spider also available too. Um, 
Nice. Those, those, those legs are are amazing. I, I I love like the little. You know, actually, we have another Iron Spider too. By the way. Oh really? Oh There's yeah. A, you want to show? You want to show your other? Iron yeah, Spider? I do. For one, a, six, one six scale. People like. Someone was just asking about classic Iron Spider, and uh, here we go, classic Iron Spider, just for you, Clayton. That looks awesome. dangerous. Awesome Sentinel, the red line. This this actually was the first die cast expensive figure I ever purchased. <laughs> Um, and it's like it's got die cast, but also like it's kind of hard to see on the on the camera. Oh, uh, here, hold on, I'll zoom in. Give me one second. Yeah. Boom. Okay. So like, if you look at the uh, the arm, there's like a fabric. So like his joints oh. are actually covered by like this really cool fabric substance. So it's like an actual an actual suit that you can see right there. And cool. like, I thought that that was just super cool. And the stand it comes with is amazing. Like, it's secure. Like. I have no fear about this rumbling at all. This has survived earthquakes, and I, you know, we live in you know earthquake country out here in California, so <laughs> you know, like, it's it's pretty strong. Like it's not going to just like fall over. And like the, the clamps that comes on it are super secure. You have to actually unlock them to move the clamps. So like as long as you like you know actually clamp it on there correctly, like it's it's pretty good. Like he's not going anywhere, you know. So I I, I was really a fan of this, and uh, I I'm glad that I. Uh, I, I'm able to have one. I believe we have like a few left, but uh, once it's gone, that, that's it. Like it's it's gone forever. <laughs> so make sure this out. Unless you go to David's house at one, no, two, three, five. Five. <laughs> <laughs> you can't In the valley. <laughs> hey, someone's asking about your setup back there, uh, David. Uh, fresh, uh, fresh cyborg. He wanted to know uh, uh, where'd you get the amazing shelf setup, uh, and uh, he kind of wants to know what's in that thing. So I looked out. I went to a living spaces like 10 years ago and like this was missing like a screw and like I got it for like 80 bucks. Like it's got lights too. I was like, yes. Like, <laughs> All for then, one missing one screw. <laughs> I, I was like, I don't, even, I don't even know what a screw is, but it's been working fine all these years. But uh, in there, I've got, I've got some of my custom, <laughs> I've got some of my custom uh, Gunpla in there. Um, I have a lot of my, uh, my writer stuff. So like, if you can like look on, Oh, this yeah. shelf, I've got uh, a, a Pandora plate with some bottles. I've got like uh, I've got some other stuff. I got, I got some dioramas in there from Gundam. I have David's favorite Devastator, the symmetrical oh. right there. Whoa. Look at that. Oh, good. Now I know one, now two, I'm, three, fake street. Now I'm happy that I know where in your house it exists. So if I ever am able to break your house to destroy it, I know exactly where to go. So, yeah, someone broke in and destroyed just that one thing. That's um, it. Actually, yeah. I wouldn't destroy it. I would just Take your two and make them how they're going to be. And see how long it took <laughs> you to notice. Them to be a yeah. regular devastator. But yeah, I'm, I'm actually in the process of actually rearranging things because um, I, need, I need to add more space because I need to put my. Uh, I, I have more belts now for Ryder than I have space, so now I need to I need to build wide now. So I'm working on rearranging it, but I've got a little bit of everything back there. And uh, this this guy, the Iron Spider, he usually goes up right around there ish. Wait, there we go. Nope, this way. Right there. So you would replace that <laughs> Devastator. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Just block it. <laughs> now, 18 months ago, how much of that shelf was Gunpla versus what percentage is Gunpla now? It, okay, so 18 months ago, it was entirely Gunpla. Uh, <laughs> and now it's Gunpla, Flame, Sentinel, and Common Rider. <laughs> it's, 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 all, it's, it's perfectly balanced, David. You've no. diversified. Those exactly. those uh, boxes on the top are those kits built, or are they is that backlog? So those are actually uh, Gumpa uh, uh, boxes that I use to store uh, parts for kit patches. Gotcha. So they're they're all just there storing parts. And next to it is a giant Kirby. You can see it. Oh yeah, <laughs> see it. It's a Kirby head pillow. <laughs> what do, what does your backlog look like, David? You know, a lot of times Justin or AJ they like to post like, "Hey, show us your backlog." Oh, what do you think you think you have? It couldn't fit all in, in one room. I, I, have, <laughs> I have several locations for my backlog. I, I usually buy two and three of the same kit because I, I, I'll I build one straight, then I'll kit bash the other one, and then I'll keep one for an emergency case I break apart or something. <laughs> Would you say that your backlog is over 100 kits? Oh, yeah. Long, it, it, I surpassed that a long time ago. Oh, my say goodness. It's, 200? <laughs> yeah, it's realistically, we're looking at about 400. Oh, wow. Ooh. Yeah, realistically, yeah. Now, you need some is it, time. <laughs> is it something you're ever able to chip away at, or does it just get bigger? Well, so some of my friends will remember foolishly 
going into 2020, I was like, my New Year's resolution is I'm going to finish this year with no backlog. And then, like, I'm, no one believes me. And they were right to. They were right to, to, to doubt me. <laughs> what, what do you think you started 2020 with? And what do you think you ended? So, if you're about 400 now. Did you I go started, into 2020? I started with about 300. Whew. And I got more. Like, oh, like my I, goodness. Yeah. I mean, I had to. It just, I was stuck at home. <laughs> I need had money. to. <laughs> I don't feel so bad that I've had the, the RX 78 Master Grade in my rafters in my garage waiting to be built for like at least a year. So I don't feel so bad now. Yeah. yeah, yeah no, I, I've got 12 RX 78s waiting to get built. So. <laughs> <laughs> Justin's backlog is usually behind him, but I can't see it now. What? Uh, oh, what yeah. I got, I got rid of that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It was getting too big, and you, you didn't want to show it. Uh, well, yeah, I was. It just looked disorganized, and I didn't like that. It looked like clutter. So now it's out of sight, out of mind, and I'm okay with that. That's how it grows. <laughs> no, never. Grows. <laughs> yeah, there is. Um, I mean, I guess you can see that. Oh, my Iron Man got cut on my cable here. Hold on. Um, there is a Sazabi and a Tall Geese from uh, Premium Bandai. That I haven't put together yet. Nice, um, but yeah, I decided I, to I, cheat the camera a little bit so you couldn't see those. But oh, sorry, uh, I remember those days back when that's all I had for. Back, uh, <laughs> right, <laughs> those, those are good days when I had space. Sure, the rest is in a room upstairs. It, that's just <laughs> I haven't got around to it. Every time I go up the steps, I'm always halfway there. I'm like, eh, I'll just get it next time. So, <laughs> ooh, uh, yeah. Mr. Vader, uh, Mr. Vader Fist, Vader's Fist has a challenge for Dave. Uh, oh, can't wait to see what that challenge is. Oh no! We'll have, to, we'll have to do a, a backlog build off or something like that. Yeah. You, know, ran, you randomly pick some from your backlog, and we get someone, someone on the stream that randomly picks something from their backlog, and then, from yeah. your backlog as well. <laughs> yeah, from your backlog as well. Get a helper. It could be like uh, Double Dare, and you can take the physical challenge. Oh god! <laughs> like my backlog is so ridiculous. I uh, w when we started being able to order from P Bandai US, I ordered some stuff. Right, it came. I didn't even take it out of the, out of the mailer box. Like, I I just threw it in the pile. I, I was like, "Yeah, keep that night. I don't have time. This is my, my backlog. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. You got a you got a helper over here on uh, YouTube, like Damon, uh, saying, you know, if David needs hand with uh, that backlog, he'll be happy to help you. There you go. It seems like a fun like a fun charity stream. Like we bring your entire backlog somewhere, <laughs> and we get like 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 fifteen Bluefin employees, and we see. How much? How much of it we can build? Hey, I know that would be torture for you. Before like, you finish yours, your half. <laughs> it's like I mean, recruiting yeah. your friends to help you move or clean your garage or something right. like that. <laughs> yeah. No, like my my worst fear with my backlog is that one day, like like some rogue builder will break into my house and just build all my gumpa for me, and it's like, no, <laughs> what have they done? I would have preferred you steal it. They come alive and they build themselves out of the box and they surround you and like, we wanted you to build us, but you wouldn't. Right? It's like, I, I knew I, I, I was going <laughs> to Yeah. Dang. But, but yeah, that, that, that Iron Man right there, I mean, that little composite shot that shows just everything. It's just... No, uh, it looks great. Whew. Like, Sentinel, Sentinel is really good with their Marvel stuff. Like, even some of the older stuff that... Now, uh, this one is, is, is out of print, so... Sorry for all you people out there, but the like the uh, the Hulkbuster uh, that, they, that they did, it's really good. It's really good. DM yeah. me for his fake address. No! <laughs> and, and for the right amount, he'll give you the real address. <laughs> <laughs> but like, like their quality is is, is been consistent, uh, and you know, like I I am I'm very happy with you know like what they've been doing, and the fact that these are all under a hundred dollars. That mm -hmm. that's what. That's what got me. Like when I first saw the project, like, I was like, "Really? Is that an error?" <laughs> <laughs> With the die cast, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, yeah it definitely like, makes a yeah. Like when you pick it up for the first time, you're like, "Oh, okay, yeah, I guess that makes sense." Because it, it definitely feels like it's heavy. If, I mean, when you take a, when you go for a walk, if you want your little three pound weights to, <laughs> to stay in shape, you can just your grab, Iron Man. yeah, grab like, grab a couple of Sentinel. Flexibility, like. The head being able to go like basically all the way up, you know, like is pretty, is pretty awesome. Oh yeah, so, like, to do like a slight pose head. <laughs> yeah, like, like their 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 concept was that they wanted it to be basically a human body with armor on, like like how you would actually move with armor, and like they 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 did just 
just a really a really fantastic job with this. How how flexible it is, how just like how secure it is. Like you know, the ab crunch is good. Like look at that. Cool. Like that's that's like some Neo Matrix stuff, right? There. Yeah. <laughs> so like, no, I, I I'm really happy with how they how, how it turned out. <laughs> and his back opens up too, right? He's got the those crazy oh, like little booster packs. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Let, me, uh, let me open that up real quick. Yeah, I think like uh, David told me that they can, uh, you could prop them open. I'm like, what? Yeah, <laughs> so easily. So, yeah, the secret of Sentinel is they they actually shrink a human being down and put it in the metal suit. Right. So you're really just torturing this poor person inside. <laughs> Which means I now want an, I want now an Ant Man version of this. Yeah, I mean the paint is is unbelievable on, on on these things, and it looks just so good. And the attention to detail, like Justin was pointing on that Wolverine, is whew, so good. Yeah. Now, now, David, now, I, don't tell us what's in Wave 2, but before I ask a fun question, do you know what's in Wave 2? Of course. Okay. Does of course. Else, <laughs> does anybody else on this, this show know what Wave 2 is? I do. Oh. Yeah, I, I, did I don't, but I'm going to give a good guess. It was giddy. I let out a shriek. I'm not going to lie. I was like, oh, my God. I was going to ask what you wanted to see in Wave 2, but if everyone already knows what's in Wave 2, it's... Doesn't really hold water. I don't. Yeah. I'll, I'm still throwing what I want to see. I kind of want to see like a funny like Hulk one. Not just like does he just come? Is he all green with just shorts? Or <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's just wearing he's wearing Iron Man shorts where they're just just covering protecting his middle waist. There, yep. Awesome. <laughs> it's his whole armor set. It's just. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, you, can, you, you can do a rider kick to this thing, which is amazing, but. <laughs> But no. so, it's funny how many people in the office like that's their test for flexibility because I remember I gave Xavier an SH figure or something one time and he instantly tried to see if he could ride or kick with it and, <laughs> it, and, and luckily he could but it's it's funny to see that that's 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 like the go to like how flexible is this can he ride or kick right <laughs> and like I mean you can do a lot of poses with this guy <laughs> a lot of fun times <laughs> mm-hmm. but uh, who who I want to see eventually who. Uh, I I would love to see a Thanos, just that, that's what I want. I want a Thanos armor with the gauntlet. Why, Why is Iron sure. Man making Thanos armor? <laughs> just in case you never you never know. <laughs> would you want it lo- as big as Thanos, or just yeah. the same size they currently well, are right now? It, 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 since it's for Tony, yeah, probably the same size he is now. Just he wouldn't. Okay. Yeah, but it would still be cool though. <laughs> I always um like to think about like what would happen if Magneto fought Iron Man and he just crushes him into a little tiny Coke can size <laughs> and no. you dripping out. No, of him. Pretty in, the sure comics, in the comic, there was a time where Magneto just dropped him in the ocean and he was like, "Stop it! You're you're made of metal." <laughs> no, he did make a Magneto suit. He ready for him too. <laughs> That's rad. There was a college. <laughs> College Humor, they had like their video game section was called like Dorkly, and they made a series that was Magneto versus the Avengers, and the first one's Iron Man, and he just like crushes him into a ball and kills him. And then it's Captain right. America throwing his shield, and he's like, Are you guys serious with this stuff? <laughs> and then it's uh, then uh, uh, Thor throws Mjolnir at him, and he's like, Oh my, come on, guys, <laughs> make make this hard. <laughs> That's rad. We uh, we did ask people on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram like who they would like to see. Um, and I think I have that here. Hold, please. Mr. Vader's fist says Vision. He just commented on Twitch. He says Vision would look incredible with the cape. He would. Hmm. Mixed Where's media cloth. Oh, that'd be cool. All right, I know how I feel about mixed media. <laughs> I'm a sucker for cloth capes. They do look. Yeah. Good. Um. Let's see here. Captain Marvel. That could be fun. Okay. Yeah, wait, wait, which, yeah, are, 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 Carol Danvers, Marvel, uh, any of the other? Whoa, what is that? <laughs> there you go. That's the one David now wants. Next <laughs> 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 strike variant. <laughs> yeah, that's intense. Uh, like Hulk meshes in order. Yeah, sure. Doctor Strange, that could be fun. Mister yeah, Sinister would be pretty awesome. I saw, I saw uh, a, a Miss Marvel in there too. Yeah, Black Widow. Yeah, I'm pretty cool. a fan of Mr. Sinister. So, so Gwenpool put me. So I'm like, oh, <laughs> you're you, you're good, you. I like that one. Yeah, no, I, it, it, it would be 
cool to see some of those in there. I, I honestly like I, I want the whole Avengers. Like my, my plan is I'm gonna collect the whole line and have like a really cool hall of armor shot where like Iron Man's in the middle and then have all the suits like lined up in like a half circle behind them, you know? Sure. Yeah, or get like get like a Tony get a Tony Stark, like a SH figure X makes Tony Stark. <laughs> You could make some mad. Um, we got a lot of people saying Black Panther. We got uh, someone's yeah, Ghost yeah. Rider. Hey, oh, go, yeah, yeah, Ghost Rider would be great. I, w- I wonder how he would do the uh, the, the fire. I would like to see <laughs> like, a bike involved too. How is it going to armorize the fire? I, 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 I'll, I'll be curious. <laughs> it actually, it'd probably just be a clear part, which they have on these too. There's these really awesome clear parts for some of the in front of the effect pieces, like the uh, like the arc re- arc reactors. Uh, it's a clear part, so it'd probably be clear haired, which would look pretty cool. There, like um, uh, Andre in the leak, he has clear hair. <laughs> <laughs> the Dre, uh, classic yeah. purple Hawkeye, people are saying. Uh, mm. Slade. I mean, that's other the other side of the comic. Yeah, so, um, you know, yeah. There's no, there's no reason. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna get it, but they're just gonna call it Deadpool, and it's gonna be all red, <laughs> right? No, they're totally different. Totally different. <laughs> they are not at all similar. No, <laughs> one's Wade Wilson and the other is Slade. I actually would like a cable. Now I'm thinking about. It. I, would, I would like a cable to go with Deadpool. I think uh, yeah. he just always looks so. Like part of his toughness comes from his just jacked up face. Like <laughs> like when you see his, all of his face damage and just how weathered he is, you're just like, probably shouldn't mess with that guy. So. He would have to make his face armor look all beat to hell too. In yeah, it's we like got a... Colossus and then like Gambit, like oh hell, all the X Men. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> out of all the X Men, I would like a Professor Xavier. Yeah, there you go. Still can find a wheelchair wheels. though. Yeah, it'd be cool. Have rocket <laughs> wheels. <laughs> if you couldn't make a suit that could walk for me, Tony. <laughs> hey, hey, we all got across this thing here. Speaking of speaking of that, Apocalypse would be cool. An Apocalypse armor. Isn't like he that. already in armor though? Isn't that like what no, his but, no, but, but it's Tony's armor for him. Like uh, how, how for him. <laughs> I guess I, I it's hard. I'm not a visionary. So like I'm trying to just picture people that would otherwise be fragile in this world and then yeah. require in the armor. Whereas Apocalypse, I feel yeah. like is such a um a monstrosity. <laughs> Tony needs an armor to fight him. <laughs> right. So so Apocalypse is like my second favorite comic book character ever. Okay. And, which is unfortunate because he was in the worst comic book movie ever. But uh, I would love to see Apocalypse. Yeah, uh, I'd love a rescue uh, to go with, uh, with with Iron Man. Uh, you know, you know, Pepper Potts. That'd, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, War Machine. Just get the whole get the whole team. War Machine. Uh, I would love a I would love a Wasp actually. Uh, if, if we were gonna Ant Man, I'd love a Wasp to go with to go with it. You know, I think that'd be pretty cool. But uh, yeah, and then I would, I, would, I would love Kamala Khan, Miss Marvel. She's like one of my favorite comic book characters. So, oh okay. And hopefully, it would come with like giant fists, just for just you know to you know because she has just the the stretching powers. You know, plus she's getting the show pretty soon on Disney Plus. So right, Sentinel, please. I want every Spider Man that was front that was on in Into the Spider Verse. I want Noir. <laughs> I want Peter Parker. I want Miles but, Morales. I want but, all Corky. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, Spider Man Noir has to come with the trench coat and the top hat. Or in the, in the half, and then we got to get uh, we, we have to have Peter Parker coming with sweatpants, so like it's a metal suit. <laughs> you, can't can't over it. you can <laughs> chill with the Hulk wearing just the shorts, yeah, yeah. exactly. Peter Parker, there you Peter go. Parker I know someone oh. earlier in the comment had said they want to see like venomized ones, so that would oh, be kind of uh, cool too, yeah. That could be pretty cool. That's yeah. what he needs to be even stronger. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, if you if you want Miles Morales, Sentinel does have a Miles Morales coming out in Mayish this year. It's gonna be yeah. a, exclusive, so it looks pretty cool. And it's got Peter Porker's uh his hammer in there. <laughs> I was trying to, was trying to give you the segue. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wasn't 100. percent I was like, we can talk about Miles Morales. I'm like, yeah, it's, it, it, it's been announced. It's 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 it's, it's for pre order. Yeah, so that's a GameStop exclusive. So uh, pre-orders up at GameStop.com, I'm assuming. But yeah, that's pretty awesome. You know, I know that I know that Justin is a is a bit of a fan of Into the Spider Verse, and I know I love it as well. So oh, there we go. Yeah, it's it's Ooh. a really good figure. It's a good figure. Like look, and look at all those accessories. They led with that pose. I'm like, oh, that guy, right? Like, so so the guy who made this, like, he watched the movie clearly. <laughs> I hope headphones. he watched the movie. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually thinking about getting two of these so I can have one his regular 
outfit and then one with like the hood up, you know? Sure. <laughs> yeah, no, I I am a sucker for Into the Spider-Verse, man. It's like one of my favorite things ever. And uh I cannot Pretty wait good. for this figure. I um I got this really cool gift. I don't know if you can see it. Hold on. It's a pocket sand? We haven't brought a pocket sand in no. this. <laughs> Uh, if you look, if you look on the back there, you can see that little um, that piece of artwork where it's all the different colors there on the uh, on the wall, and that's actually um, this cool design that's done by this company where they'll take a movie, it's a movie, oh. and yeah, and they just put whatever the dominant color was in that scene, and it just goes in order, and so it shows all the colors from Into the Spider Verse. Nice, pretty cool. Thanks. I thought I'm about getting one of those. Yeah, right. that's pretty awesome, dude. I, I didn't know what it was when I first opened it. And then Alex was like, let me explain. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I love gifts that need explanations. And I was yeah. like, oh my gosh, this is the coolest thing ever. Yeah. But like, no, that was, was definitely a good movie. I'm looking forward to, to the sequel. Uh, it's, it's, it just, I was very shocked that that was like, it's it's a big contender for possibly the best combat movie of all time. <laughs> oh, was, yeah. yeah like, it was really good. Cool. It's pretty great. And I saw, I don't remember what show we were at, but there was someone that cosplayed as the Kingpin, like this a giant, giant, monstrous Kingpin. And he looked so good. And I was like, oh my God, I have a picture of him somewhere in my phone. But I was just so impressed that someone was able to pull off that ridiculously over-articulated, you know, look for Kingpin. Right. Yeah, so can, awesome. we, can we get a Kingpin Iron Man <laughs> fighting yeah. armor? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, technically... Like any Iron Man suit, take care of Kingpin. He's just a, a lot big of dude. a lot of materials to cover that man. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and I want the like supplemental like comic or anime where Tony has to explain to the rest of the Avengers why he made Iron Man suits for uh, Thanos and Kingpin and all these bad guys. <laughs> why are you making them stronger? <laughs> I mean, he's 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 like Batman. He's got a, he's got a box for everybody. Yeah, mm, he's great. <laughs> Remember when everyone got all the um, the Justice League folks got mad at Batman because he had the ways to exploit the their Earth. weaknesses? Yeah, <laughs> they're like, uh, "Did you just have something for everybody?" Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's like, of course I did. Like you're gods. <laughs> I love how they said, "Well, what's the box for you?" He's like, "I have a box. It's called the Justice League." Like he assumed <laughs> it would take all of them. Right. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, man. I think Superman could just throw him right into the sun in <laughs> like a half a second. His <laughs> plans were leaked, and he accidentally almost took out the Man of Steel. Come on, man. Like he sure. <laughs> almost <laughs> being the key word. <laughs> he's like, hey, I got this. I, I'm fixing it, guys. I got you guys. I'm My bad. I tried to kill you. There have been a couple times where Batman has tried to kill Superman, but has Superman ever really tried to kill Batman? Hurt, subdue, yes. He's never outright he, attempted he, to murder Batman. I think that <laughs> injustice. He tried to murder Batman several times. Yeah, uh, I think he. Justice. I think he was holding back. No. He runs as fast as he can, so Batman can't keep up with him, and then he shoots him from like two miles away with his heat vision. End of story. Yeah, <laughs> but you're forgetting that Batman would have foretold that, and he'd be ready. Uh. Would yeah. he? <laughs> He's Batman. He's got a tool for that on his belt. <laughs> also, got right next to the shark repellent. <laughs> just to remind you guys, coming soon, Hito Kara Curry Batman is a thing. So I'm just going to put that Ooh. out there. <laughs> Diecast Batman. But no, 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 yeah, Diecast. <laughs> yeah, Bat Batman's ready for everything. Yeah, and, well, and, and Dark Knight's Metal, which I love that storyline because it's Batman if he was unchained. when uh, He killed Superman in like thousands of universes. So, so it's yeah, rigged. he cheats. Yeah, Batman rigged it because he's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> he's out here carrying DC. Sure, <laughs> he's got a sore back from carrying this whole company. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he has no power. But he's got, got carry heavy Superman. You know, like, you, thought, you, thought, you thought Bane broke his back? It was just just got tired from carrying an entire company for eighty years. <laughs> it is what it is, man. It is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you had mentioned the, the Batman, so you know, so Sentinel is doing all this amazing stuff with Marvel. Uh, do you want to quickly talk about what Flame's doing with uh, the Dark Knight, yeah, and cool. uh, maybe even go into some of the other properties? Since now they're fi they're not finally, but now that they're branching outside of yeah, Transformers. Yeah. So yeah, Flame is going. Uh, uh, you know, we're starting to work with with some DC properties. So we have the Arkham Knight, uh, uh, Hito Karakuri, which I believe is like on its way to America, like right now. Like it's coming. 
it's 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 on the water, <laughs> um, and which, which is a really cool figure. It was, it's the first humanoid uh, diecast figure that they've done, uh, and then they they did announce last month, uh, um, you know, online that they're doing a Batman uh, for that as well. So this is Batman and Arkham Knight from the Arkham games, which are, you know everyone loves. I, I love those games. Um, and they uh, on top of Batman, uh, they're also going into GI Joe, which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, the, the Arkham Knight. Yeah, that thing is. Uh, it's, it's it's pretty fire. I'm not gonna lie. I really like that helmet. So yeah, and you know it's it it, it this makes me finally like Jason Todd. You know, <laughs> yeah. He, I like him in those man. panels where he's got the crowbar on his face and he's like oh, a bloody God. mess <laughs> with a 900 number <laughs> flash. <laughs> like, hey. like, people like voted for him to die. That's sad, man. <laughs> like we don't like you, but then he came back as Red Hood in Arkham, in Arkham Knight, and like now he's cool. That is cool. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. It's like when you go to medieval times and like you're like, this is so silly. I could never get into this. And then five minutes later, you're like, kill him! <laughs> Great night's going down. Down, down, down. <laughs> yeah. But no, yeah. And no, I'm happy that, you know, that the flame was branching out uh, to, to Batman, to G.I. Joe. Um, you know, and a lot of y'all saw we're also doing Power Rangers too. So, whoop, Power Rangers. Uh, it's going to be great to see what, what they do with that. So, pretty excited. Uh, and, and, and like I said, all the flame. Kits compatible with this stand that also comes with Iron Man. So, Ooh. yes. There you <laughs> go. Yeah, and, and for G.I. Joe, that Snake Eyes was the one that they revealed? Is that right? Yeah, so the, the Hitokara Curry for, for G.I. Joe was Snake Eyes. And then there's also a model kit Snake Eyes and a model kit uh, Storm Shadow. Mm -hmm. uh, what about a model kit Shipwreck with a model kit Parrot in his little <laughs> sailor hat? I am down for that. He's probably wave 18. Okay. Not wave two, oh, and, a, man. and a tattoo anchor, model kit anchor on his arm. That'd be great that's too. A, that's a sticker. Yeah, <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe a mom a barbecue. <laughs> just completely random. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's it's, it's going to be a good year for Flame and Sentinel this year. I'm 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 very excited for it. And just guys, wave wave two of fighting armor is going to be like wave one is, is super dope. Wave two is just next level. But you're you're gonna want all of them, because uh, uh, you know oh, I can't say that. This is a spoiler. It's you can't say buy, how many is way cat. two. Make sure you buy cat. Trust me. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll be you'll be sad on way two. Just trust. Is me. way two gonna be four figures as well? Uh, five. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. nice. Well, I guess wave one is five if you count the GameStop exclusive, right? Uh, yes. So uh, it should be uh, it should be a good time. It should be a good yeah, time, and it's a great time to get in the line. You know, when the line first starts, it's always a great, thing, great, great time to get in. Yes. and you know, Sentinel's obviously committed to have the line go forth that they've already planning wave two. So, yeah, right out the gate, you know, there's going to be at least ten figures in the line, and if the line's successful, you know, they'll keep making them and stuff like that. So, uh, if you're a fan of Marvel, if you're a fan of you know really, really high end collectibles, especially ones with die cast metal parts. Um, you know, this is this is a great line to get into. You know? And flaps on the box, Dave. Yo, I, I forgot flaps right. on the box. That, that's just like a given. Like that's the most important part. Yes, gotta have the flap. Justin loves flaps. <laughs> <laughs> a flap all day long. Hey, it, it, presentation really matters, especially if you know some people like to keep their stuff in the box too. So mm -hmm. right, no, I know because like we we show these pictures all day long because we're you mm -hmm. know in this this digital era that we're in and pandemics and we can't be right. in the office playing with everything. But if I was at a trade show, if I was at whatever San Diego Comic Con and I walked by and I saw this box. I would be like straight up Napoleon Dynamite lady. I need that, you know, or I want that. <laughs> and I would have to take it. And I would love every second of it because right. of the presentation. It's a big deal to me. I, I have oh, to have it. By the way, so you see here on the screen where you see the Iron Spider next to uh, to Megatron. They mm -hmm. are on the same shipment, guys. So if you're waiting for both, they will be here at the same time. It's all, almost here. Just, it's a little bit longer. It's going to be a double mail call. Yeah, that, that mega, the Megatron is... Whew. Is it on yeah. the screen right now? Yeah, yeah. it is. Okay. It's got those awesome wings and and like if you go down, like uh, go to left. That mm -hmm. weapon, the the spike ball thing. Go back to the right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Flail. That's that like is, uh, Spanish is Inquisition right. right there, man. He's yeah. he's my choice for medieval times. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That 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 will be here at the same time as the Iron Spider guys. Whew. Just, just give it a little, a little bit longer. 
As long I like as the purple. The fire, we're good to go. He just came from a Prince concert. He's looking good. <laughs> yeah, the black and the purple really, really complement each other. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and these figures are loaded with articulation too. The curl car curry. Yeah, Woo. they really are. And he's got all these LED lights. Oh my gosh, seven mm -hmm. LED lights inside his body. Yeah, I'm really hyped for when we do the Megazord uh, later this year. I mean, like the, the the art alone was just it blew me away. So I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's like physically here. You know. <laughs> sure. Hey, and Clark, he's doing his little toe bending thing that you like. It's. Yo, know, it's a it's little important. Thing. It's a little thing until you actually like start to use it. You're like, oh my god! Right. Like, I remember when, like when Master Grades for, for Gundam started having that, I'm like, oh my god, this is this is amazing. Right. <laughs> it, you can you can pose it so many more ways just because of that one little feature. You're able to add so much more weight on it. And it right. Looks amazing. Yeah, it really helps the balancing of the figure because nothing worse than like set your figure and he's like kind of doing one of these. You know, is he gonna stay? Is he gonna stay? To where when you when you've got the extra point of articulation in the foot, it's it's really easy to root him or her right. or it or that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Speaking of her, we got a uh windblade coming up eventually, right? From yeah, from windblade, the pre-order should be starting in the next month ish. Uh should be like sometime in March ish. Uh I'm looking forward to to seeing everyone's reaction <laughs> to, to the windblade. Uh I'm I'm really happy with it. Um I like how they they, they made her wings bigger, which would be great. Um, cause you know, bigger wings is always better. Um, so I'm, I'm hyped for that one. And like I said, one blade compatible with this stand. So <laughs> <laughs> you you can buy stand stand <laughs> the stand is really good. I like the stand. Like I do like the stand. So it's pretty cool. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're, we're soon. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited about that, but yeah, guys don't miss out on the fighting armors because Diecast figures are not made like every day. Like they're not gonna just keep printing it over and over again. That's usually <laughs> one and done, guys. So. Yeah, I uh, I think like Tamashi Nations with you know all their uh, solo Chukokin stuff. You know that's always like the diecast stuff that I'm always like, oh my god, I gotta get this, and it's all heavy and amazing, and I love it. And then I gotta wait like another year for another one. <laughs> so <laughs> the idea of being able to get these on a pretty semi regular basis is always nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're 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 early enough in the in the line where it's possible that you know for you to catch up. You know, like, like I said, like the right. first we're available right now on the on the on the, on the Bluefin store. So you know, it's a, you're able to catch up right now. Don't it's don't like, wait like next year and be like, no. I yeah, that's usually the, the worst part anything. about collecting is like you're a D, you're you found a new line that you love, found out you're like a year late, and then you can't get them no more. <laughs> right. right. The first yeah. three figures are like six hundred dollars. Like. <laughs> Right, and then there's, there's always like one random figure in the middle of the line that you just can't find anywhere. So you get a <laughs> hole in your whole lineup forever. Yeah, the, uh -huh. pain, is the pain is real. Yeah, <laughs> definitely start early with these. These I love them, even though I don't have one physically in front of me. <laughs> Sad, yet, yeah, yet, yet, yeah. There's still some more. Uh, Iron Man is the most limited right now. I mean, like, like extraordinarily limited. <laughs> Because <laughs> so, David bought all the shields, right. and all the games. <laughs> but yeah, just make sure you get yours before it, before it runs out. Because don't don't miss out. Don't. And if you want to see, you know, like end up review, like I said, you know, D Amazing, he did a really a really nice review. He compared it to other figures, so you can see how it would uh, uh, you know stack up next to your other figures and see if it maybe might mix in well some of your other Marvel characters. So um, that's definitely a good review to check out. But, and uh, uh, definitely feel free to share any photos that you take of your figures. Like we're yeah. we're really excited to share those on social media. You can always just tag at Bluefin Brands, um, and we will definitely share the, them with the world. Uh, it, whether you have you just pick them up and they're still in the package, or they're in your car, or you have them posed in your backyard or on your shelf, whatever you want to do, just share them. We love to see it. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. One of the best parts about our job is to see your excitement because you know we've been playing with these figures for a while and we know they're awesome. And we can't wait till you guys discover how awesome they are. And so when you share your excitement with us, you know, it really makes us feel good because we're like, oh, yeah, they like it, too. So we're just like right. a bunch of weirdos in a, in a studio <laughs> taking pictures of these things. Uh, we love it when you guys get excited for things. So, yeah, make like Justin said, make sure to tag at Bluefin Brands on anything. And then we'll make sure that the individual brands, you know, share it on their site as well. So sure. you get some of that Internet clout. Yeah. Bluefin Brands share my stuff. <laughs> And then when people like your shelf and then people start asking you, hey, where did you get your shelf? And your collection looks amazing. And then it starts this whole, you, all of a sudden you have more internet friends. It's so crazy how that works. Or, you know, unwarranted visitors. Yeah. <laughs> but take your, take and touch your devastators. Take, touch your devastator, build your gunplug kits and everything. <laughs> balance, baby. 
perfectly balanced. Yeah. <laughs> and like that, like, like like Master Yoda says, size matters not. You know, just because you don't have a thousand figures behind you doesn't mean that your collection isn't also amazing. You know, people have different size collections. They have different focuses. You know, don't see someone who's got 30 shelves packed full of figures and think like, well, no one wants to see my collection because it's too small or this or that. We love seeing everything. We love seeing people who are just starting out in the hobby. Like, um, you know, one of the ones I saw recently was it had like four figures, but it was like, you know, it was like a kid. And he was like, you know, I'm just starting my lot, my, my collection and stuff like that. So it was really great. We saw he had four figures and, you know, I can't wait for six months, six months from now when he's got eight or 10 figures and stuff. So you can really see it grow. So, right. so don't, don't feel intimidated if you got a small collection. We all can't yeah. have two arcade cabinets over our right shoulder. <laughs> What? <laughs> yeah. No, no, ge no gatekeeping from Bluefin whatsoever. Yeah, yeah, you, you be proud of whatever it is that you have, and we are more than happy to share it with yeah. the world. Because, uh, you know, true fans when they see somebody else getting into the hobby, they go, "Good." Right. <laughs> yeah. it's, like, it's like Digimon. I don't even know anything about Digimon, but I buy everything because I like transforming robot-y type stuff. <laughs> so I'm just like, "Oh yeah, this guy looks cool. He looks like a bug. Look how awesome this is." <laughs> but I'm a simple creature. Yeah. <laughs> I, remember, I remember when I got into Common Rider and like I, I bought my first belt. Like I remember AJ and Anthony I'm going like excellent. <laughs> he started down the path. <laughs> You're like, hey, look, I got a belt, and they're like, no, you got your first belt. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, it wasn't gonna stop there. <laughs> and now you got dizes to the ceiling, and you got too many. You can't even have. You have to have two dizes to the ceiling. I have to. I have to spread out. I, I'm actually about getting rid of some furniture. To have more display space. <laughs> oh my God. Goodbye, bed. <laughs> now Can't you incorporate it into your bed? Like, you know, the frame around your bed there? Around. <laughs> no, because my, just my luck, earthquake country happens and they just all fall over me. The belts would be fine, but I'd be bruised. There you go. <laughs> you're like, that's okay. Remember when you were a kid and they had like those little car beds? And you're like, well, that's pretty cool. I can imagine Clark having a common Rider bed. <laughs> Never made it in my side. So. There you go. <laughs> it's not like a yeah. giant bed. It's like a giant pineapple or something that he just crawls into. You know, a giant orange. There you go. <laughs> An armored orange. <laughs> in, my, in my younger days, I actually worked for like a baby store, and uh, we actually sold the toddler and the, the twin size beds of the race car beds. And it was always a nightmare when people ordered it because it's basically like four enormous plastic parts because you know, <laughs> it's not like you can like assemble plastic. <laughs> And so it really comes in like four pieces, like the size of this table here. And it's like, and then of course they brought like their Volkswagen Beetle or something like that. I'm like, really, dude? Right. What did you think was going to happen? I thought you destroyed it to my car. Just build it and drive it home. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. If you're buying furniture, take a truck or an SUV. <laughs> yeah. um, so, David, we, oh, go ahead, Clark. What were you going to well, say? Uh, so I so said they had a challenge for me like a while ago. Did they update that or no? Uh, I believe so. It says, I I think this is it. He, Mr. Vader Fist has asked, do you think you could kitbash the Lincoln Park Gundam together? You mean like use the Lincoln Park Gundam and kitbash it or use other parts to make the Lincoln Park Gundam? Uh, I assume it is the latter, so make that Gundam. I mean, I'm, I'm, it, sh it shouldn't be too hard because it's, it's uh, I believe it's a, a variation of the, uh, the full burning, the GPO one. So, Shouldn't be too hard, but also if anyone has the Lincoln Park Gundam, please send it to me. Because <laughs> <laughs> Lincoln, Lincoln Park was my, the entirety of high school for me. Like when I found that they also like Gundam, I'm like, what? Just why all the music? So like, you know, that's that's one. That's like my Gunpla White Whale. I've been looking for that one for forever. So if anyone happens to have it and just wants to give it to me. Sure. Like, yeah, but trade you as Devastator. I was just gonna say that's how they're gonna get to the Devastator. Is you'll, yeah. you'll, you'll give away your address to send the the Lincoln Park Gundam, and then they'll take you. The take it. Yeah. <laughs> Fool, they have to burn in, they used to burn in fire. <laughs> Wait, David, do you have a regular regular De Devastator in the background there? We Maybe. do. Oh yeah, there you go. Okay. Yeah. It over there. Yeah, let me grab it a there. second. I just I, I know what Justice gonna ask next, and I hadn't done it yet, so I'm. I'm doing it right now. <laughs> right now. All right. So while that's drawing, so we can see the devastator in the top right corner there, above yeah. the GSI paints. That is a so carefully you, curated background, by the way. <laughs> so as you can see, you know, devastator 
as seen in every single incarnation ever of Devastator, <laughs> is, is made up of different types of construction machines. So because of that, you have Long Haul on the right, on his right, you know, and then you have, oh, Scrap Master? It doesn't matter. Oh, no, Mix Master's down there. So they are different and they, they are different machines. So they are not going to be symmetrical. And one of the views of it is even on the bottom. You have Mixmaster um, and forgive me for forgetting their names. Uh, you know, they look different. Now, I don't know if David has had time to pull his out while I've been riffing on this oh, one. One second. Hold on. They are, they are not meant to be symmetrical. Never have they ever been symmetrical. And no incarnation ever. However... <laughs> David's OCD would not allow him to have an, unsym an Ill 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 unsymmetrical robot on his. Uh, I have mine. I'm ready. I'm good. I'm ready. All right, on him. So he decided he was going to buy two of them. And uh, yeah, go ahead and make David the big screen here. Yeah, hold, please. David decided he's going to get two of them and make them symmetrical. Oh, I like my. double cannons, you know, like a little shield forearm. Or, uh, <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> No, which you, which of the legs did you choose to uh, to be the symmetrical one? You chose, did, yeah, uh, the, the, the the flat foot. I put it on more like the rectangular looking uh, uh, leg part. You know, that's, I think that's long haul. Long haul is the well. He's he's, the, he's the, dead now. He's a, he's a, he's a leg for Devastator. Uh, there you go. <laughs> long haul's the 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 left the right. Arm. No, so, uh, actually, long haul is the, the right leg. Mix, no, it goes scav scavenger is the torso, high tower is the left arm, long haul is the right leg, mix masters the head. Uh, normally, I guess, and, and he's also the in this case, it's the leg because it's the um, what do you call it? It's the mixing cement mixing truck, yeah. And Scrapper's right here, see, so no. my first <laughs> project was uh, was creating a brand new devastator. Since, I, since I've been like eight years old, I've always <laughs> called him long. <laughs> no, that's that's high tower is the one with the. Yeah, oh no, high tower is a crane. I don't know yeah. what that one. Is that a crane or is that a scoop? That's it's like a, a backhoe or something. Yeah, I always thought he. All right, we're terrible. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Oh yeah. So so Mr. Clark decided to uh, <laughs> to ruin two flame devastator models. Here. As quoted by our uh, viewer Clippin Nubs. He says he woke up and chose violence. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I've got another one I'm working on right now. It's uh, Optimus Prime fused with Thundercracker. So that, that that's in pro progress right now too. So nice. Yeah, the the, the the legs are. I'm still working on them, but I was able to get to the uh, the torso and you know at, give it the the backpack and everything. So it, nice. it's fun kit bashing the flame kits. I I, I enjoy it, especially so when I can make Devastator. Symmetrical. Oof. Yeah, that's that's bastard child, man. Uh, so the gen, the Gen One Devastator, according to uh, tfwiki.net, uh, we have Scrapper is the right leg, Hook is the upper body, Bone Crusher is the left arm, Long Haul is the lower body, Mixmaster is the left leg, Scavenger is the right arm. There you go. Now, 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 now I've learned. And now you know, and knowing is half the battle there, just like the G.I. Joe coming to play. So with the, oh, the six of them, I would say I got Mixmaster right. One for six. Thirteen percent, or sixteen percent. That would not get me into any, any Ivy League college. But don't worry, I, 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 won't, I won't show you the Devastator anymore, David. Not today, at least. It's, it's not that I say it, it's just that I know it exists. <laughs> Maybe, maybe we'll do a, a contest or something that you know, you know, if we get to like the some some crazy number for something, maybe like if we get to like I don't know, ten thousand flame followers on Twitter or something. We'll do well, like a, run it over with your car, my car. Yeah, <laughs> we'll fix them back <laughs> to a regular <laughs> devastator. <laughs> it'll be like Office Space where they destroy the fax machine, but it'll be your devastator. It'll be amazing. yeah. Yeah, the four of us just take it out to a field somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I, he dies for a good cause. Sure. I imagine Flame would be very happy to see that video. <laughs> yeah. Good talk. He died so that others may live. Might sure. have to be a private video. Yeah. <laughs> Invitation <laughs> only. <laughs> oh man. Well, awesome. It was it was great talking, Sentinel, and then uh by proxy flame toys with you, David. Uh, it's always a treat to have you on board. Is there anything anything you want to leave us with? Any any parting words on the future of you know Sentinel or Flame or Boys Toys? You know, anything coming up? It's it's gonna be an expensive year, y'all. 
<laughs> it's, oh it's, my god! You're, you're gonna you're gonna want to get all this stuff. Like, don't don't miss out. You know, like I said, you know, Flame. It's got GI Joe. It's got Power Rangers coming up. We got some, we got Windblade coming up. You know, for Sentinel, we have the Fighting Armor line and the Miles Morales figure, which is fantastic, and some you know some cool things after that. For boys' toys, as you guys know, for Common Rider, you know that's the 50th anniversary this year. So we got some big stuff coming. We have some pretty cool, like even though we just you know had like the Neo Deca driver that we just you know announced you know a couple while back, we have something even better coming up later, like something even more cool. So, and that's kind of be kind of that's going to be kind of all year. It's just new thing after new thing, guys. So it's going to be fantastic. So. I apologize to your wallets now. <laughs> uh, yeah, he, he's not sorry. He's not yeah. sorry. Thanks for the oh. early Christmas gift, David. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think, I think that's one of the great things that, you know, at Bluefin, we're all fans. And so yeah. we're, we're always pushing, you know, the different departments like, hey, we can do more. We can do better. We can we, 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 can, we can pump out more stuff. So sorry yeah. to your wallets or to your significant others if you have to explain <laughs> said purchases to them. You know, right. We're right there with you guys, though. We're buying this stuff, too. <laughs> yeah, I had to come up with a PowerPoint presentation on why I need to have that Dr. BB figure from Let's Play. <laughs> it's like, okay, this is what it's going to do for me and for us and how amazing it's going to be. Check it out. It's going to tie the whole room together. <laughs> <laughs> for $300, this this could be ours. This is going to be amazing. And with the accessory, it's, it's really two figures, so it's only like $150 each. Right. I have used that excuse once in my lifetime. <laughs> Hey, look, I figure if we buy the figures and we show it on stream, that's a tax write off. All right. Look, that's there important. Right? That was an investment in my career. Yeah. <laughs> Itemized deductions, and it's going to be great. Yeah. Eventually, we'll go back to shows and then you just pay with cash. There's no, uh, no credit card trail. No, yeah, no trail. <laughs> there you go. Uh, but we did have some giveaways last week, and I think we need to announce the winners. Sorry, we didn't do one at the beginning of the show and one at the end. I think we forgot. Oh, for, I forget. We'll blame Dave. Yeah, you yeah. did. I, 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 <laughs> I saw I, I, you I disappear forgot. for a minute there. To draw the winners. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry so about the, that. the first one that we had, Edmondson, was the One Piece one. Sure is. I don't know if I picked the right one. Hold on. Which one? Is that? You, you All did. right. Okay. And that's, that's the one I have on my screen right now. Uh, and so, yeah, so we did this collaboration with GameStop. Uh, they had a We Love Anime event, and we did a pair of giveaways. The first one was a One Piece giveaway for some really cool uh, Ichiban figures. Uh, and the winner is going to be Gunnar Burkhalter uh, from Collins, Missouri, or Mississippi. MS is Mississippi, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because yeah, uh, Missouri's MO. So, yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, Gunnar Burkhalter from Collins, Missouri. So congratulations, Gunnar. Uh, we'll be reaching out to you via email uh, shortly after this stream, and we will just ask for your address. And then AJ will mail them out to you because he's a lot quicker than me, and uh, it saves on us getting bad emails. <laughs> <laughs> like, where's my stuff, man? <laughs> right. Uh, speaking of which, uh, we will never again give away a framed uh, poster, just so everybody knows. Uh, I have this on writing. Uh, uh, one day I'll explain it to everybody. <laughs> it's hard to ship. It's, it's hard to ship. <laughs> very hard and very expensive to ship framed items. Um, <laughs> yeah. Awesome. And so we had a second giveaway. Uh, it was also for the We Love Anime event with GameStop. And this one was for some Demon Slayer figure arts minis. And the winner is Aaron. Everyone's got hard names today. Aaron Routabush from Albuquerque, New Mexico, home of Walter yeah. White. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, his profile picture kind of has a Walter White vibe. <laughs> <laughs> Heisenberg. It's a it's a drawing. So I'm looking from afar, but it's a it's a bald gentleman with a goatee, like a drawing. So making the New Mexico connection. So uh, right. he actually won because he visited uh, one of our web pages, uh, Pac Man from Tomashi Nation. So make sure when we do have these giveaways that you do everything on the giveaways, uh, you know, so you can maximize your chances. And usually, uh, almost all the time. Uh, the web pages can be viewed daily, so you can have daily entries. So, you know, don't think that you just do it the first day and that's all you can do. You can actually come back every single day of the competition and there are actions that you can do and there are daily bonuses to take advantage of. So if you really, really want to maximize your chance to win something, uh, right now we have, uh, we actually have this bad boy here. We have the Gundam Fixed Figuration, Char Zaku 1. Can I win that? Yeah, uh, sure. You have to enter as as Cavid Dark. I got you. Give me five seconds. 
Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Online persona. <laughs> yeah, J but, Justin actually did a video on this yesterday. Uh, and so, Justin, you want to tell them how amazing this figure is and how they oh, can yeah. This figure is fantastic. It comes with uh, two machine guns, two magazines for the machine guns. It's got that that uh, bullet feeder gun right there. He's got the bazooka on the right shoulder. I believe there are two um, ammo magazines for the bazooka. Uh, both, uh, what is it, the long and short versions of the Heat Hawk Axe. Oh, my gosh. All kinds of articulation. Um, I actually have uh, Zaku 2, and I love it to death. It was my first um, Gundam Fixed Figuration figure, and it's so badass. And uh, this guy is a total beast and absolutely love it. I believe it's about seven inches tall. Um, I think that's the going height for those figures. But mm. super cool, super badass, and you should definitely check it out. Oh, and it comes with a million hands, too, by the way. That's just how <laughs> the Fixed Figuration works. They, they're, they're very handsy. A literal million hands. Right. <laughs> it's a separate shipment, actually, to you. <laughs> right, right. No, that's it's a really cool figure, man. I, I love it. And and you know, it does have die cast parts in it, and so it feels um, heavy, just like these fighting armor guys. But uh, they are beefy, and the stand uh, that these guys come with is actually really cool because uh, there's multiple locking mechanisms, so you can have the mobile suit uh, dangling in the air. You can have it tilted downward and the stand is beefy enough to to be able to handle the weight so uh yeah. definitely a cool figure and uh check them out yeah and the stand also you know is embossed with you know which configuration it is you know for example this one has you know shars you know saku one all of the other ones have really great information on it as far as you know if there's an rx78 there's a couple of sakus uh there was the uh the snow white uh wing gundam which was an amazing thing so yeah, the fixed figuration line is incredible. Uh, if you uh, don't currently have the funds to to buy one and you want a chance to win one, go to bluefinbrands.com slash contest. Uh, the contest goes through Monday at noon, PST. So Yes. Enter often as much as you can every single day. What a fun show. I got to bring back down two things from our show. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't want free stuff? <laughs> Who does? Yeah, and you brought down some for your shelves. Justin got a shell figure. The only one didn't show anything off is AJ. AJ, what's what's going on? Yeah, show us your, <laughs> Other your room? trading cards for dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all your trading. Uh, so yeah, so I, I one they're set, actually you know. in mine. <laughs> huh. I, I hope everyone digs the set. Uh, you know, we we'd asked people to help us name it. Uh, we have gotten some fun submissions. Uh, so if you have any ideas on what we can call our our lair here. Uh, you know, we're happy to uh, happy to take suggestions. What was the one tuna can or something like that? Yeah, tuna can was, uh, I, think was I think the one uh, that I remember. I like the tuna can. I think that's pretty cool. That was the one that stood out <laughs> for sure. I'm I'm okay with that. Or you know, some, but tuna can kind of sticks out. <laughs> <laughs> this feels dirty. Think of it. Look at this tuna can for the bluefin hand. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try it out. Uh, uh, someone's asking for Ryder helmets in the chat. David, you're David. You are the leader of Team Ryder, of which yeah. the three of us are just lowly members of. <laughs> but movie writer, Ryder helmets here. I, I, I of course, like everything else, we're working on it because uh, I would like a. Uh, I need a Gaim one. I need a Gaim Kachidoki Arms one, and an Omazeo one. So I'm working on it, guys. So we can get it. <laughs> We'll bring them. <laughs> 3D printers. <laughs> I got a 3D printer. <laughs> we, we don't do that, right, guys? <laughs> yeah, the helmets are always cool, man. I'm always blown away when I see really cool helmets, uh, especially when we go to like trade shows and stuff. Yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing how creative some people are. And then you really, then you just look at your stuff like, I'm ten the worst. Yeah, these people no, are I, all creative. They spend. Hundreds of hours making this elaborate costume, and I, I, can't, hard work. I can't even I can't even color coordinate my socks with my outfit. Right, <laughs> you, you got to fold them together. <laughs> Makes it easier. <laughs> That's the trick. <laughs> Someone's saying bluefin bunker as a suggestion. Oh, I like the I like the yeah. idea of a bunker more so than yeah. a can of tuna. <laughs> more than a tuna. I mean, I, the name's great, but I I would feel more safe and secure <laughs> in a, in a bunker. We're hunkered down in the Bluefin Bunker. Come to you live from the Bluefin Bunker. It's the Bluefin yeah. it's like, a, it's like a fallout shelter. Okay. We can be the Bluefin. <laughs> during, during these after times, I, I guess it's suitable. 
That's true. We are in the end of days, so a bunker would be helpful. <laughs> Yeah, coming alive from the bunker, it's the Blue Fin Hangout. There you go. Like, like, like a little red light to like have like, like emergency lighting the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All of a sudden, if someone asks a question we don't like, yeah, the klaxon comes on. Oh, sorry, we got to go. Bomb we strike. need a periscope to come down so you can pretend <laughs> that you're looking above surface. What's going on? It's like romper room. <laughs> I see Brawly and Vegeta and Devastator. <laughs> Ridiculous. We'll, we'll have a name one day, right? We yeah. will, but yeah, keep keep. Yeah, you can just leave, leave it in our right? social media. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, awesome, like everybody. Oh, sorry, were you gonna say something? I just because I like the bunker sounds fun. Yeah. Well, bunker it is for now. <laughs> it doesn't have to. For be. Now. I'm just saying it. Wow. I like it. I'm throwing my support out. I think it's fun. <laughs> One vote from Justin. Sure. Well, thanks, everybody, for joining us for another Bluefin Hangout. We can't wait to talk to you guys again next week. Uh, if you have any ideas for topics, you know, send them our way. Uh, you know, We'd love to cover some stuff that you guys want to hear about. Make sure to go to bluefinbrands.com right now to pick up the, the like Justin is showing, he's got a flap. Uh, you can pick up Iron, you can pre-order Iron Man, you can pre-order Captain America, uh, and uh, get everything you want from bluefinbrands.com. And if you want to keep up on Flame, on Sentinel, on anything, anything on the contest, Follow at Bluefin Brands for everything, and uh, Justin will keep you informed. So don't forget to enter the contest, bluefinbrands.com slash contest, to win the Sharzaku 1 Gundam Fixed Figuration. And uh, until next time, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Thank you.